All right, hello, welcome to the David A. Sonoff Point Marins. Made it here despite a big problem on the train today. Thank God. So, yeah, it was a problem on the Long Island Railroad again today. In Mineola, again. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> that video should have uploaded by now. Actually uploaded it. I kind of found a Wi-Fi to upload it. Well, it's important that people see what's going on and how we're being treated. Oh, thank God I made it out here. And we mean the Pine Barrens now. And the David A. Sungeroff Pine Barrens Preserve. I'm amazed at how well it's doing considering how little rain that they've had out here. Pines are still pretty green. Well, I just checked it. It's still, it's still uploading. I don't know why. That's, I don't know. I always have problems uploading videos from my phone. That's why I usually do it on the computer. I'm hoping we don't have to deal with any pine flies today. Hoping. Because you know those things are not fun to deal with. Yeah. yeah look at those shapes. It's complete just mayhem there. I really want that video to upload. I don't know what it takes so why it takes so long. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, that was ridiculous what happened. It's just another example of the discrimination we deal with in the middle of the island. It really is just another example of it. Ooh, pine warbler over there. So our pine, this isn't the right camera for me to zoom in on him. It's all the way over there. Oh, man. Nice, I wanted to come back here because I haven't been here in a while. This is a really nice piney area over here, I'll tell you. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Feels a little warm out here. I thought it would be cooler than that. Oh yeah, you want to go into that desert, right? Uh, is, well, we got the desert up ahead. Luckily, no signs of southern pine beetle over here. Yeah, it's a beautiful area. I'm so glad I got here. I'm going to go wander around a little bit in this spot here. Yeah, it feels a little warm out here. Ooh, it was a cool breeze at Mount Conquer, but not here. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it's nice here. Uh, so we're gonna head over to that. Great, you know, that area we love so much, that desert. So let's continue. Let's get back on the main trail. We will wind off and go in here a little bit here for a little bit. This is an area where they've done some controlled burns too, so it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like. Again, all these pines need is fire and they'll be just fine. Yeah, we're just back in this spot again. We like this spot over here. I just like walking in this area because there's pines, there's nothing growing in between here. It's just, just pines, you know, and that's what the pines like, you know. They need this space, you know. Love walking in this spot. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah.
Yeah, look at these shapes here. <laughs> yeah, we're in the desert over here, that's for sure. Yeah, it's a really nice spot over here. All right, we're back on the main path now, so we'll continue southbound here. Yeah, they're getting warm, a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be today. Ooh. I mean, just because I don't know what it is. Every day it's like warmer than we think. <laughs> Yes, nice ones here. Oh, yeah. Problem is, see, I'm going with the wind in my back, so I'm like feeling all the heat. All right, we're going to be heading down into the deserts. This is the thinned area, of course, which... Uh, and this helps stop the beetles spreading, too, so... Fire and thinning. Pines don't like being cr too crowded together, that's the thing. And fires are a natural way of keeping them, you know, giving them some space, you know. It's steep over here. <laughs> Yeah, some big beauties in here. All right, entering that beautiful desert-like area very shortly. Well, I mean, this is desert, but that's over there. To get in that spot, it's gonna feel like you're in New Jersey. This place for heavily reminds me of New Jersey. Heavily. As you can see here, you got the got the Jersey styles in the mix here. Oh man, yes. So I love this spot. I love the spot. So glad I got back here, man. Oh. Oh man. Delicious over here, I'll tell you. Oh, yeah. Look at these shapes over here, man. That one got knocked over, but it's still alive. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite spots in the whole place. <laughs> There's a pine that's dying. I don't know if that's southern pine beetle, though. It might just be the drought. Usually, southern pine beetle does not attack seedlings, so it could just be the drought. Oh, yeah. We love this spot. Hey. <laughs> Look at that, huh? All right, let's get back over to this open area here. And got a debate on where I'm going to go, whether I'm going to go that way or that way. Kind of would like to do a loop a little bit. Let's go into this area here because there's some nice uh, shapes in here. This little pit area, you'll see it'll be pretty. Yeah, this one unfortunately has died. We don't know if it's southern pine beetle or not. Let me let me check and see if it is southern pine beetle. 
I don't see any pitch tubes or any signs of southern pine beetle on this one. It may just be due to the drought. Um, I'm going to see if I see any southern pine beetles on this tree. If it's a small one, I'll, I'll take it out myself. But, uh, well, this one, I don't think. I don't see any pitch tubes on here. I'm looking closely. I don't see any. I don't see any signs of southern pine beetle on this tree. The trees kind of die for other reasons, not just southern pine beetle. Great shapes here, man. I'll tell you. There you go. This is this. Unfortunately, there is one tree over there that the beetles got. You can see. Well, the rest are okay. All right, let's go this way for a little bit. I think maybe I'll do a loop around this way counterclockwise. Yeah, got <laughs> got some interesting looking ones over here. Ah, there's another one that the beetles got, unfortunately. That was a nice one, unfortunately. At least it's not as bad as I was worried it would be when I came here, but I'm still seeing some signs of those damn beetles. All right, continuing southbound here. We're going to go south. I'm going to do a counterclockwise loop, I think. We'll... You notice this area over here is an area that they thinned. Um, this is an area that they thinned. And again, this is very important stopping the spread of these southern pine beetles. It's to thin out all the overgrowth. All right. And they're doing some controlled burns over here. So they're trying to restore the forest health. And they want to. It's just a matter of funding. You know what I mean? You know, what gets me is New Jersey goes all the way to these others. New Jersey should help us. I don't understand why New Jersey does not help us. <laughs> They should help us. Maybe they just haven't been asked, but yeah, I think it would, I think New Jersey should help us because they could really give us a really huge hand in this, in getting our pine barrens back to a healthier state. Yeah, this area really looks nice. What they did over here it really looks good. It's healthier, and you know, we just need to be doing it into more, into more of our pine barrens. You know. That's how you avoid, you want to prevent the beetles from coming in the first place, you know. You see, you may see a tree here or there that has them, but it does not spread because there's too much space in between the trees. It is warmer, a lot warmer than I thought it is today. I thought it was going to be like in the 70s. It feels like it's getting close to the upper 70s already. Ooh, let's check this area out. Some nice shapes in here. Oh, yes. Yeah, look at these. And these. Of course, you got the seedlings over here, of course. And reindeer lichen, you can see all around it. Yeah, I'm going to walk on that path later, but I want to walk a little bit this way first. Then we'll go on that path. A little warmer than I thought it would be. Here are some seedlings, if you can call them that. They're kind of tall, they are called seedlings at this point. But, uh, yeah. All right, so I'm heading up this hill here. We're going on to another area. Well, this whole area is like open, like full of pines and stuff. Not that warm. I just checked the temperature. It's a 70. So, and the humidity's low. So, I don't know. It's just hotter in here. <laughs> That's what it is. Temperature at the West Hampton Airport, anyway.
All right. Let's go on here. Yeah, let's go into the spot. It's some really beautiful. Yeah, it's nice beauties over here. Check this out. Yeah, it's a nice spot over here, I'll tell you. We got some more to check out here. Yeah, let's go, let's go down here. Alright, so, you notice around here, we have lots and lots of this thorn, I think this is thorn lichen. Reindeer lichen is just a little lighter than that. So this is thorn lichen. You can see there, a little growing on the ground here. Oh man, yeah, just some more shapes. Yeah, it does seem to be a bit of a haze in the air a little bit. Slight, not not like it was yesterday afternoon, but definitely slight. Yeah, we'll go back up through there. And now it's starting to get a little more of a breeze. Starting to feel a little better now. Heats up in here, you know. <laughs> well, it's desert-like, so it heats up during the day. But at night, it gets pretty cold, actually. Unlike where I live, you know, where it just stays warm all night. Anyway, we got another desert coming up. I'm gonna go in here, go to that desert, and I'm gonna head my way back. But not not all the way. We're gonna go on a loop. All right. I wanna check this area out because this area is pretty neat. Yeah. Very desert like over here. Oh man. Oh yes. This is a beautiful area. This kind of reminds me of the Sand Hills a little bit in Rocky Point. The spot. Let's get in here. Look at this. Yeah. yeah, we're in the middle of this desert-like area here. <laughs> very, very desert-like, yeah. Very desert-like. So I'd like to get over that spot path to get through where there is. I'm gonna have to squeeze through between these two seed lengths here. Alright, here we go. Alright. Let's get a nice vista of this whole area here. Oh man. Yeah, so this is why I brought the I brought this with me which Cuts back on the hay. So watch what happens when I put this in front of the, the lens here, all right? It has a little spot on it, but uh, to clean that off, but uh, see what it does? Makes it all better. 
deep into the sky. It's a circular polarizer. Really, really pretty spot over here. I love this spot here. A real desert-like area over here. I'll tell you. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Look at it. Look at it this way. Let's look at this nice, beautiful desert here. Before I head back on my loop there. You can see those JFK arrivals too. All right, so this way should take us out. This is a very, you're in the middle of just nothing but pines over here. It's pretty incredible. It's pretty damn incredible. You just gotta watch your step, that's all. Trails over there. Okay. She just wound up going back this far. Okay. It's easy to walk around in circles here. Very easy to walk around in circles. Right, let's get back on the actual trail. So a lot of times you have to go off the trail to get the spots you. Go to the spots you want to see. It's just the way it is. It's part of hiking. Yeah. That's what it is. All right, going back this way now. That's beautiful. All right, so we're heading back this way. And we're going to make a right. So we go downhill for a little bit. Make a right. It looks nicer when you're walking at it from the going in this in this direction here. So we will be going and when we get to that spot, we'll be making a right going on this trail here. That's going to take us through the area that they actually uh, thinned. So it's going to have that little cathedral effect that we're going to have. So yeah, let's this the trail right here. Yep, this is the one. All right. Oh, 
Oh, beautiful. All right. I'll run this trail. The question is, am I on the trail? I think I am, and I think I am not. Uh, yeah, I see the beetles over there. They got those. But see, they're not going to swell. Well, they are spreading a little bit. There's a few over there, too. Because you need the fire, too. That's the thing. They did the thinning. But you need the fire as well. Yeah, another one over there, unfortunately, as well. Alright. We're not going on the path that goes that way. We're staying to the left. I know where we are now. I'm not on the path I think I was, so... <laughs> Typical of me. Make that mistake. Is this another path here we could take? Or is that going to be overgrown? Yeah, it's probably going to be overgrown. we got to stay on this. really kind of want to go that way, though. So let's take this trail here. It doesn't look too overgrown. Because I'm going to go back this way. I'm going to head toward the other area. Look at this, yeah, this is beautiful over here. Yeah. This is nice, you get that nice cathedral effect. And we just walk into a web, or a fly is bothering me. No, it's a web. All right. and it does get a little overgrown over here, I see that. It's an old path. I don't know where this is going to take us. Yeah. Do not know. I think I think I know what is, where it's going to take us, but I'm not 100% sure. Where it's gonna take us. But I wanna head north, I wanna head in this direction. Beautiful vista over here. This. Again, here is the reindeer lichen. So this might be a thorn lichen. Or like a combination of both. Uh, but, yeah. All right. Let's continue on. Oh, see chiggers. These are what chiggers are. These little red things. I sprayed myself, so they're gonna die. They have a chance to bite me, hopefully. They will itch if they do. A lot of chiggers on this path, unfortunately. It's a little overgrown. That's what happens. Take an overgrown path. It's getting even more overgrown. I see where I need to be, so it's gonna be a little bit of a distance on this. But I don't want to go all the way out of my way going the other way, so I'd rather go on this. Hold on, hold on, hang on. Uh, it looks like there's a white trout ahead. I want to be on this for too much longer. This is the trail I wanted to be on, but I was on the wrong trail. Right here. Yeah, look at this. There you go. This is the trail I wanted to be on. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Stick with this way. All right. So I feel like this still ain't the right trail. So, yeah, 
Look at this. Those, yeah, this is looking a lot more like New Jersey over here. They thinned out all the brush. Well, that's definitely not a sound I want to hear. Fire trucks. Well, they're in a brush fire. I don't smell any smoke, but... All right, heading that way. All right, so now we've come out over here. It seems completely unfamiliar to me. I don't quite know where I am. I think I know where I am, but I'm not sure. I don't want to take the northernmost trail that'll take me back. Right, this is not it. This is another trail. So, yes, this used to be an RCA property. You can see the concrete from the radio towers that used to be here. All right, we'll see if this is the trail I want. Uh, I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to. There are a lot of sirens in the distance. See, I want that trail over there. It's the one I want to get to. I'm not going to bushwhack through this stuff, so keep going here. I don't want to get over there. Do a little short bushwhack. Well, just over through there, because I think I know which trail I'm on, but I know I'm, I'm going to have to walk a little bit out of the way, so I don't want to do that. So here we are going to go this way through there. And so we're going to have to walk through here. Roll this stuff. How much stuff is in here? It really could bite me, but go through here, and so I want to get to this vista over here. Yeah, so we'll cut through over here. This is perfect. Because this is where it's really beautiful over here. You even have a little full color from the huckleberries, too. A little bit. Not too much, though. Colder, colder years, it starts changing in August. It's been so warm this year, it just hasn't. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, look at this vista. All right, we're heading back that way. Beautiful. This spot here is really nice. This is where we got some nice vistas. Just wanted to get over here. Check this out. Man. Oh, you got some young ones here. The young ones and the mix. I like the, uh, the mix of that and the, co the colors on the, the, the bottom there. And the huckleberries changing. This is a very beautiful spot. Yeah, this is incredible, huh? All right. I told you this vista would be nice. And I tell you. Oh, look at these colors here. Yeah, I got some fall color already. So we do have some. That's great. Because this is a really great, great look. Great when you get this together. Look at the colors. The huckleberries and the pines together like that is incredible. I don't know if this camera does it justice, but this is pretty colorful. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, right? All right we got lots more to see, so let's keep it moving here. Look at all these shapes here, man.
Mm, the smell of the pine is so thick in the air, too. Let's check this area out. There's another little area we can check out in here. Let's see. There's shapes in here to check out. And then we'll come back out over here. Look at this. What a vista, huh? Oh yeah, look at this beauty right here. <laughs> but I walked over this way. Yeah, this is a bit of a Jersey style one over here. Yeah, this is a beauty over here. That's for sure. All right, let's get back to the spot here. Yeah. See the reindeer like in. Yeah, this area is very much like uh, the kind of pines you find in New Jersey. Ah, it's beautiful over here. Alright, we're back on this path now. Unfortunately, I do see another tree down there that looks like it might have southern pine beetle. All the way down there. You can see it. So, we're not done with this hike yet. After this, we're going to go to Wildwood Lake. Because I'm going to go to a lake. I didn't do that on the last hike. Alright, so we're going to be heading this way here, and then I'll be heading back. I'm not going to film on the way back, and then we'll head back out to the road. There is a narrow trail that we take to the lake, but there's no way I'm going to walk on that with all the ticks. Chickas, you know, I'm going to push my luck. You know, I have, you know, you have permethrin but you don't want to really walk on them trails if you kind of, narrow trails if you kind of avoid it in the summer at least. If it was the winter, it would be another thing, but it's not, so... Yes, the area they thinned. It looks a lot better. Unfortunately, there's still looks like one tree over there that has the southern pine beetle over there. The tree looks like it definitely has southern pine beetle. I can see some pitch tubes. Let's see. Yeah, you, you see the needles? They turn orange. That's a sign of southern pine beetle right there. If we go up to the tree here, you can see these like tubes that are coming out of the side of the tree. It's the tree trying to save its life from these beetles. They're, they're very small. It's very hard to spot them. You can see the holes that they make. So yeah, this tree definitely is... And there's no way to save them, that's the thing. Once the beetles get onto the tree, there's no way to save it. At least they're trying to do something over here. Anyway, we are going to make a right turn. And head north. And I'll see you by Wildwood Lake. And there is the lake. Almost there. Remember the last time we were here it was kind of crowded. Well... Shouldn't be like that now because the summer is technically over, so 
hopefully it won't be too crowded. It's a bowling alley. It's, I think that's abandoned. Which like everything over here. All right, here we go. It's empty. Very good. Last time of year it was crowded. Oh man. Sit down for a minute and then we'll look at this beautiful lake. All right, here's the lake. And it looks beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful, this lake. It's nice. The last time it was a whole bunch of people here. Now it's empty, which is great. What a beautiful, beautiful lake this is. Huh? This is Wildwood Lake. One of the largest kettle hole lakes on Long Island. Nice to see this lake nice and full, that's for sure. The bigger lakes don't suffer too much, the smaller ones do. That water is, the water in this lake is very clean. It's beautiful. Check out the view here. <coughs> There's another little wetland over here, like another little kettle lake over here. Oh, I think I see some turtles in there. Let's check out this view first. Yeah. You know, you're looking this way here. It's funny. I remember the water being lower in this spot. Actually, I remember being able to go out over here. So it's interesting that the water is actually higher. As I was here, I remember the water was kind of low. There you go. It's a beautiful view here. This is the other view. Pretty, isn't it? Well, it's just about time for me to head on out of here, Wildwood Lake. But we got more scenery along the way that we will check out. Will you? Just one more look at this beautiful lake. It's time to walk back and yeah, of course we got the traffic here. Let's see if it's gonna let us go here. Alright, so we're gonna be taking 51 up. 
It's gonna be about a 40 minute walk, 40, 45 minute walk to get to Riverhead County Center, get the bus going back. Yeah, we are in the middle of the Pine Barrens here. Oh, look at this, how to view that is, huh? Yeah. All right, let's get on the road here. It's gonna be a lot of scenery right along the road, so. If you think we're done yet, not by a long shot. Oh, now this is Sickle Leaf Gold Master here. This is Sickle Leaf Gold Master here. Yeah, that's Sickle Leaf Gold Master right there. Oh yeah, look at these shapes here, huh? All right, I'm gonna be on this road. Yes, they have a bus stop for the 8A right along the road here, but we're gonna be doing the walk because we still have like 50 minutes for that. 58 comes, so. Beautiful area here. A lot of great shapes along this road. Guarantee it. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, big beauty up ahead. Oh, that's a big one. That's a beauty. This is one of the most beautiful roads on Long Island, folks, because it's just all the wall pines. A lot of great shapes here, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> Take a look at this spot here. Oh, man. There you go. Like another nice pine grove area over here. <laughs> There's a witch sperm in there if you can see it. Yeah, you see more of that sickle leaf golden aster here. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, there's also some trash here, which I don't like, but see, this is sickle leaf golden aster. It's beautiful. More of that sickle leaf golden aster. Here you go. It doesn't mind the trout. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All right, so it should be about 20 more minutes. It should be about 20 more minutes. I always underestimate how long this walk takes. Well, mainly because I keep stopping looking at these shapes. Long hike. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the crazies. There. Yep, this is very much like New Jersey over here. And there's more of that sickle leaf gold naster. It's more of it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let's take one more look at it here. It's a beautiful little wildflower here. That's a beauty, that one right there. That's a beauty. Oh, it's another beautiful area over here. Yep, very much like New Jersey over here. Oh, that's a beauty right there. Yep, that's a big beauty right there. Yeah, look at that one. Huh? All right. Can't stop, keep stopping here. I'm gonna get there in two minutes here. That's what happens though when you're in the pines, you know? Right, get close to the end of this walk now. Get close and I'm getting tired, so it's, it's a good thing. <laughs> I still got 15 minutes, but we're only about 
less than 10 minutes away from the bus stop. We're coming up to the county center now. Up to the county center now. The bus stop's right over there where the flag is, so we're gonna wrap this video up. Wrap this hike up. It's a pretty long one, but a beautiful day nonetheless. So, as we wrap it up, I'm going to remind you what it's all about. As we always say at the end of these hikes here in the Pine Barrens, it's not about drag racing. It's not about making money on Wall Street, no. It's about those great shapes. Thanks for watching.